Hello, Cricketers. Welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we are going to be making Valentine's cards. Now, Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I am getting ready. I'm doing a lot of preparations. I have made uh, sublimated socks. I have done screen printing. I made this shirt that I'm wearing right now in my last live tutorials. I will make sure to put a link to all three of those videos below in the description box. But tonight we are going to be making Valentine's cards. I'm using a design that is in Cricut Design Space. I will be using some of my card stock that I got in the last mystery box. Now, if you've been with me for any length of time, you know that card stock is not my jam. So in order for me to do something like this, I will be making it for someone that I love, who is my husband. So I will be using some of the Cricut poster board and some other materials. But before I get into all of that, you know what I need you to do. Go ahead and take care of the three things. Hit the like, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications because I do upload new content every single week. So without further ado, let's get started. The materials that I'll be using for this project include, I'll be connected to my Cricut Maker. I'll use this red glitter card stock, this red uh, fine point pen, this gray metallic pen that came in a set from the last mystery box. I'll be using the single scoring wheel, the one that has a zero one on the tip. I'll also use a regular fine point blade, one sheet of white card stock, one sheet of silver poster board metallic that came in the last mystery box. I'll use my green standard grip mat and a purple strong grip mat. So without further ado, let's head on over to Cricut Design Space. I am in Cricut Design Space and I am connected to my Cricut Maker. Right now the view on my screen is at 100%. I am going to go to projects and I am going to type in Valentine's cards in my search. And I, when I did this earlier, I was just trying to see what options uh, for cards that were available in Cricut Design Space. So I found this one that I liked and I said I would just give it a try because one, I needed to use some of my card stock from the last mystery box. And two, I wanted to um, just demonstrate how to use the Cricut pens. So once I decided on the card that I would use, I just started reading through the specifics um, and you know, looking at what materials were required and thinking about how I would change it up. So right here, I'm just looking at the directions. So when it comes in like this, let me reduce the view on my screen just a little bit. Right now, my view is on 75%. I'm gonna move it down to just 50%. And when I look at this um, design, everything is pretty pretty much attached and I'm going to detach it because I need I want to customize it. OK, so let me detach this. And honestly, you guys, I'm really not sure what this is used for, but I'm not going to use it. And this right here, I'm assuming this was the vinyl that they were speaking of, but I'm not gonna use this either. So and I'm not gonna delete it though. I'm just going to hide it for now. And these hearts, these hearts, I will probably cut them out and glue them somewhere else. Um, but for now, I'll just put them off to the side. And um, yeah, the rest of this, I'll keep it small like this and you know, I'll kind of just work with this. Now, I know I want to make my own message for the inside of the card, um, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So I'm not going to resize anything else. I'm just moving that out. So let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to text. And um, when I was looking for the text that I wanted to add to my card, I had to filter the fonts to look for writing fonts because I know that I wanted to use my Cricut pens. So I had to go in and choose text and then filter the fonts to only look for Cricut um, writing fonts. And I had to remove the 
show only current fonts. I had to uncheck that. And so this is just my process of kind of looking through my options and then figuring out which one I like the best. The font that I ended up going with is one that is called Leah's Wedding, L-I-A apostrophe S, Wedding. And once I got it exactly how I wanted it, then I knew I needed to select the whole thing and attach because I needed to attach the words to the card. Right here, I'm just attaching and duplicating those little hearts to make more because I knew I wanted to place them all over the card in multiple places. So I attached the hearts, I attached the card. So all together, um, my intention was to have four mats uh, to be cut, but I knew that I would probably move the hearts over to the black layer. So now I'm on my cut screen. I have my first mat, which is the envelope. The second mat, which is the card itself, I'm moving it down. The third mat, which is the black piece that will go inside, and then the hearts. I'm gonna move this over because I have enough space to reposition and only cut three mats instead of four. I ultimately decided to go with card stock for my cut setting and then I just followed the prompts to get all of my materials loaded so I was prompted to load my single scoring wheel I was prompted to load each blade as they came about okay the first thing I want to do is insert my scoring wheel I am using a sheet from the poster board metallics that came in the last uh, mystery box I'm going to insert the scoring wheel into clamp B and I'm going to click the flashing C. Now I'm going to insert my fine point blade. I'm going to remove the scoring wheel, click the flashing C. I did have to load my card stock with the pretty side down because I want my writing, my message to be on this side. It's going to be written over here and I'm going to use one of my metallic pins let me look and see i think i will get a pin that will match my envelope and the color of the envelope is this silver so let me go ahead and open this up i have my cardstock on my mat i taped it down just in case it tries to move I am going to use this silver pin. Let me show you how I load it. I just took the cap off. I put the cap on the bottom or the top, whichever way you want to call it, and just push it down. Make sure you hear a click, close it. And I'm going to load the scoring wheel back into clamp B. I'll close it. And you can also do this with the uh, uh, Cricut Explore Air 2. You just wouldn't be using the single scoring wheel. You would be using the scoring stylus. Okay, I'm gonna click the flashing C. Now I'm going to switch out the pin. So I'm gonna switch out this gray pin for the red. Same, 
And what else is it asking me? Okay, now go back and click my flash and see. So it's gonna do the written part in red. Now I'm being prompted to load my fine point blades. I'm gonna remove the single scoring wheel, insert the fine point blade. Now I'm going to unload this from my mat and load the next piece, which is um, just the inner pieces that will need to be glued in. But I wanna make sure you stick around to see what I'm going to do with the envelope. Because when I was in Cricut Design Space, I did not think about how I wanted to design the envelope. I didn't even think about design, designing the envelope until it was already cut. So make sure you stick around for that bonus and I will show you what I have decided to do with my envelope. I have this cut out, which is the card with my message on the inside. See how beautiful that is, look how cute. Okay, and now I have a piece of white cardstock and a piece of red cardstock to cut out the hearts and the backing that will go behind this part of the design. So I have my hearts cut out and I'm going to get them taken off the mat and I will tape, I'll use double sided tape to tape this white piece on the inside of the card and then I will carefully and strategically place these little red hearts in multiple places throughout the card. I ended up using glue on this part because the double-sided tape wasn't working so i got a paintbrush and i just applied a little bit of the tacky glue to apply the hearts in various places okay as i said i would show you a bonus to show you what i plan to do with my envelope because right now the envelope is just too plain so what i've decided to do is use some of the ava vinyl sticker paper and i cut I just put two pictures on, and I'm only gonna use one. I put a picture on um, a backing, and it just says, I love going on this journey with you. I'm gonna have my Cricut, my Cricut maker cut this sticker out. I'll place it on the front of the envelope, and I will get this cut out. And because this is sticker paper, I'm just gonna stick it right on the front of the envelope, and I will use my last heart to seal the envelope on the back. So let me show you what that's going to look like. Okay, I have the printable vinyl cut from the sheet. So I'm going to take this sticker off and carefully place it, you know, center it the best I can on the front of this envelope. Just right there. Stick it down. That's the beauty of using printable vinyl because you can have a picture with words. And now I will take the last heart that I had left and I'm going to use it to um, put here on this backing, but I don't want it, you know, I don't care if it doesn't seal it all the way and I'm not going to seal it just yet, but that is my plan for this is I'm going to put this heart and use this to close the card up. And that is it. Okay, let me give you my final thoughts. Okay, so hopefully you were able to follow along with this process. And you know, if you know me, you know that I do not love working with cardstock. That has not changed, okay? <laughs> the one thing I love about this project is how it turned out. I love that I'm giving it to someone that I love. Um, and I love that I'm finished with it because I still do not prefer to work with cardstock, but I do love the way this little card turned out and I love the envelope. So if you didn't get a chance to see it, this is what it looks like and it is a perfect fit for this card. So I'm going to go ahead and get the card put in the envelope so you can see just how good of a fit it is, okay? And so I'm sure Peter will love this when he receives it on Valentine's Day if I can wait that long. All right, if you haven't already, 
take care of the three things hit the like subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications because i do upload new content every single week and i, I appreciate you joining me today taking this trip on card stock with me and hopefully you'll be here to join me the next time thanks so much for joining me today and thanks for watching bye